It's great to have all of you here for the launch of the Apache RR310 from TBS. And I think uh, uh, today is a great day for us because also it's the 10th year of Apache. And like Mr. KNR said, we'll have more than two and a half million. In fact, by the end of the year, we'll be hitting three million uh, Apaches and Apache fans across the world who will be riding on race machines and really expressing their love towards uh, the moment of uh, the, going the entire point of uh, racing as far as uh, we are concerned, because that's what we are great at. As far as Apache is concerned, I would also like to uh, welcome a lot of people who have tuned into our live webcast from across the world, from Latin America to Europe, to Africa, to Asia, and of course, India, which is our home market. Like Mr. Sudarshan said, there are more than half a million people watching us, and almost the pre-campaigns have gone out to almost 15 million touch points across the world. So this is great, and keeping this in mind, without further delay to all of them, because they're waiting eagerly for the TVS Apache RR310, let me quickly take you through what exactly is the thought behind this product. Next slide, please. So this is a rough agenda of what I'm going to quickly take you through. The vision for premium business, as far as we are concerned, how do we look at it? What is the market structure? Because we're all talking about big bites. So what exactly is the market structure for this in India? Two, what is the TVSM presence in this particular market? Then, of course, TVS Racing, where we are celebrating 35 years of our brand. And of course, the product strategy in the end, which will take you through a various uh, touch points on how we came about this product and how we went about deciding this branding. So to start with, next, this is our vision. Our vision is to constantly delight our consumers through uniquely designed, thoughtfully engineered, and extremely desirable high quality products and services that create customer delight, which are delightfully executed. This is what we want to stand for. And I think this with every Apache that we have sold, which is also testament to the fact that we won JD Power so many times uh, with the Apache brand. I think the new one is going to show, take the idea of delightful execution to the next level. So next, can we have the next slide please? So this is the roughly uh, the uh, market structure in India. If you see in the overall uh, two-wheeler industry, about 60% is motorcycles, about 35% is scooters. And in that, uh, the premium segment is about 15% odd. And the good part about this is that it's growing massively. Across the world also where we sell in our international markets, this is a growing segment. So this is something where we can set aspiration, we can really showcase what innovation, technology, and high quality means. Uh, next. What has been our TVS journey in this particular segment? So last five years, the segment has grown at about 10% CAGR, whereas the TVSM uh, business has been growing at a robust 30%, which is three times the industry over the last five years, which is fantastic for us and gives us the confidence to take the next leap forward because this is only a curtain rail for what we're going to achieve. But also keeping in mind the fact that it's now the second largest brand in the sports segment in the country, and also the volume is almost tripled in the last five years. Next, please. So the results of the business side is what you have seen, but what makes that possible is a great story, a great story which believes in something that is really, really unique to you. And for us, that unique story is previous racing. There, the, uh, the overall story of the Apache brand resides in the 35 years of learnings that we have had on the racetrack. And I think this would not have been possible if not for a wonderful racing team who help us engineer, craft, and test each and every Apache that our Apache club members and Apache fans across the world buy. Each and every one is engineered and tested by these particular gentlemen. The, we started in 1982 with our first moped, TVS 50, where we hit 105 kilometers an hour. And this is where our need for speed increased, culminating in 2015, where we were the first Indian manufacturer to go to Dhaka, which is the most uh, toughest race, so-called so the toughest race in the world, where you ride almost 14, kilometer, 14 days for 9,000 kilometers nonstop. After that, we have had three years of racing dominance, which also helps us create racing technology, which we can bring to our road bikes, which is what Apache brand is about. Engineering, can we have the TVS racing film, please?
It began as a passion and grew into an obsession. Racing is in our blood. Pushing boundaries, breaking limits. That's what fuels us. Our love for racing began in 1982 when a TVS moped clocked 105 kilometers per hour. Since then, we've never looked back. In 1988, the AX100 won the Great Himalayan Desert Rally. In 1992, the TVS Supra won the National Rally Championship. To commemorate this achievement, 250 special rally kit editions were made and sold. A revolution in racing began in 1993 as the Shogun kicked off steam bike racing in India. The iconic TVS Shaolin stamped its authority on the track and picked up the Indian National Rally Championship and the Supercross Championship in 1998. The period from 2000 to 2005 saw the legendary TVS Fiero dominate the grid. The bike won multiple road racing, Supercross, and Indian National Rally Championships. 2005 saw a new benchmark being set for performance with the launch of the TDS Apache RTR. The bike still continues to rule the track with a 90% win rate and multiple national championships. We won the Slada and Sri Lanka National Championship in 2011 and asserted our dominance again in 2016 and 2017. In 2015, we took on the toughest race on earth. We left our mark in Dakar as the first Indian manufacturer. We believe that racing should have no boundaries. That's why we created history in 2016 by becoming the first factory racing team in India to sign a woman racer while also launching the Women's Road Racing Cup. In 2017, the TV Apache RTR cemented its supremacy by winning its sixth consecutive Iron MRC title. Our legacy has been shaped on the track over 35 years. Our commitment to performance and perfection has culminated into the ultimate track weapon. is more than 35 years of effort. I know there are a lot of passion sitting here who we have great admiration for. I don't think uh, anybody would be here if not for the gentlemen here who have crafted this legacy for us, which we are taking it forward. Now, if you come to the overall uh, industry per se in premium business, there are three broad segments, so to say. There is in India, the biggest segment, which is sport which is the big segment where you have naked bikes and you have super sports. Then you have a touring nascent segment, which is developing. And then there is the heritage bikes. These are the three big ones. As far as TVS is concerned, we are very, very strongly going to play on the sport business. And that's where we are going to really focus with the Apache RTR uh, and the RR. Keeping these in mind, uh, the brand's architecture for us works out. Can we have the next slide? Please. The next slide works out with these two big brands, which is the Apache Artia, which is our naked sport bikes, and then the RR, which we'll show you today, which is our super sport bike. So going forward, why the RR series? So these are the four big reasons why the RR series. The reason why Apache RR, the decision that we took on this particular segment was because of these four big things. To start with, are Apache consumers. We, we are a consumer-oriented company. We listen to consumers very, very hard. And when we have been seeing more than 2.5 million customers
customers of ours asking for a more powerful bike in terms of upgradation choices, I think this makes complete sense because it's not, it, it is meant for the racetrack. It is meant at the same time to be able to also do the job of taking him from Monday to Friday for his other commutes. So the whole point of this particular exercise is because it is the most challenging product concept to execute. And why do we say that? Because across Latin America, parts of Europe where we sell, Africa and Asia along with India, the big, big insight for us was that people don't really have two bikes. The youngsters have one bike, which has to do job from Monday to Friday of a weekday bike. And then on the Saturday, Sundays, it needs to really get to the next level and allow him to express his passion on the tracks or on roads where there are, where it's safe to do so. So keeping this in mind, we had to have a concept which would then build accessibility also to motorsport. With 35 years of racing with us and the racing team and all the X-racers along with the current racers, we have a very, very strong rider contact program and consumer engagement program with the Apache fans. So to bring this to life, we needed a product where we can allow the Apache owners to come and really race on the tracks at the next level. So this platform gives us the ability to create a product for something like this, where we can really grow the market of motorsport. For example, like I told you, only 15% of the market at the moment is premium bikes. And we truly believe, rather than compete for share, to grow the market to the next level is where we would make or unlock a big aspect of the value chain as far as premium motorcycles is concerned, which is where this brand really brings and opens up the kind of halo and the imagery of a racing brand that we really need. Like I told you, it strengthens our racing positioning. RTR took us to this level. Now RR is going to really create the halo effect on the track where we can really give our consumers a full on track experience with a super sport bike with no holds barred along with TVS racing riders. Next. Now, coming to the RR310, I know I've been waiting for. So, without much ado, let me introduce you to the bike in a small way. It has been developed with five big development objectives. First is performance because it's an Apache. There is no Apache if there is no performance. So, the first thing is performance first. Outstanding riding dynamics, the ability to create razor sharp handling along with having the ability to ride long distances or the ability to go to track is extremely difficult to do so. So the riding dynamics makes you choose as to how exactly you want to engineer your product and requires a lot of setting and development. Finally, an evocative signature design because end of the day, it also has to be desirable. And the one great thing that we've achieved with this particular design is not only does it look great, every surface on this bike, every aspect of this bike is performance first. None of it is just a styling exercise. Finally, we have taken aerodynamics in this class to the next level where we have created, we have extensively wind, wind tunnel tested this bike and come up with a lowest coefficient of drag in the industry. And we will be setting the benchmark here. And finally, superb quality fit and finish, because this is where a premium bike can really make you feel premium. Next, please. Now, in terms of the engine and the powertrain and transmission, it comes with a unique reverse DOHC inclined engine. Uh, it is a very, very racy racing Q uh, reverse inclined engine. It comes with liquid cooling, also a horizontally split crankcase, which is a very high end feature from big bikes. Cylinder head downdraft port with button tappet arrangement, again a very high end feature. And also the bike, because it needs quick shifts, because it has a very linear spread of power and you don't want to be caught in the wrong gear. Or if you're caught in the wrong gear, you would like to upshift or downshift. It comes with six speed gearbox with negative back rack gears. So allow you quick shifting and avoiding any kind of false negative. With this, we have been able to achieve in terms of performance, a zero to 60 time of sub three seconds, 2.93 seconds is the zero to 60 time on this bike and a top speed of 160 kilometers an hour. Next, aerodynamics. This is the next big thing that we have done as far as engineering is concerned. 
normally you see this kind of work happening on big bikes or cars. In a 300cc environment, we have the best in class coefficient of drag. We have a gill profile for thermal management because it's important to make the rider feel comfortable when he's going on really hardcore touring or at the same time on a racetrack when he's pushing the bike very, very hard. At the same time, extensive internal testing and computational fluid dynamics, which is the modeling that we have used to ensure that we have best in class engine temperatures near the leg regions. Also, what we have achieved with this is a drag coefficient of about 0 0.26, which is again a benchmark. Lastly, in terms of, next please. In terms of riding dynamics, it comes with a race origin lightweight trellis frame, a complete aluminum die cast swing arm for lightweightedness. It comes with, our suspension is tuned by Kayaba, who have extensive race experience just like us. So it's, it's a pleasure to work with people who understand. And also, it comes with a monotube floating piston technology on the monoshock, which allows you a very, very good performance and a very planted feel. So this is about the product. What can we do about the experience that, can, that is going to set this bike apart? Now, this is where we believe, along with a great product, we are going to have a really great experience. The owners of Apache Tribe, or Apache Products, what we call the Apache Tribe, are going to have an exclusive experience, which is one of a kind, where we're going to open up the world of racing as we know it, for our consumers to really fall in love and experience it. The first of them is the Apache Racing Experience. These are track events which will be held across the country where we'll be training with TVS racing riders like Harry, Jagan, Aishwarya, all of them. Apart from that, this would be a three-level program. So we don't want to make this only for advanced riders. We would like to have beginners, intermediate, and an advanced program so that all kinds of Apache customers can come and enjoy racing in a really premium, safe, yet engaging experience. Then we have the One Make Championship, which next year is going to go to the next level also. It's a satellite race series with special race spec One Make Apaches. And next year's special debut will be the Apache RR310, which will be for race spec on the One Make Championships. The owner groups, now we have eight owner groups across the country already, along with Latin America, where we have more than 40 different owner groups. We have owner groups in Africa. We have owners groups in Southeast Asia. So all of them we would like to bring under city-wise chapters with Apache owners group, where they get one-on-one -on -one exclusive owner. Not only do they get rights, but they also get one-on-one -on -one exposure with TVS motor designers, engineers, TVS racing officials for creating a better interaction between the bike they own, the brand that they believe in, and the people who engineer them. Finally, in terms of factory tour program, we're starting this. Again, it's only for Apache owners where they can come into our factory with a pre-scheduled uh, appointment where we have slots in which they can register and they will have the ability to watch their Apache getting built and we'll be taken through the factory with experienced professionals who do this day in, day out. So this is where Apache world is going to go, the world of racing, the way we are going to internet everything together, and the sky is the limit as far as an Apache owner is concerned because we have so many different experience programs to bring them together and get an experience of something as far as the stock bike is concerned. They can come and take a part in ARES. If they want to ride an advanced level where they can ride a much more faster Apache, we have the one make championships, and then of course they have the ability to meet the people who design and engineer their products along with the factory where it is built. So it's a complete 360 that we're building across. So this is the stuff that we're putting together. But there is one more which we are very, very happy to announce today. And it's also the world premiere for this particular event that we would be doing. I'm very, very happy to announce. Next slide, please. The Apache RR Club. This will be one of a kind race spec Apache RR310 Cup, which will be held across Latin America, South America, Central America. It will be held across Europe, Africa, as well as Asia, where people have the chance to ride uh, 
events which are organized by TVS Racing. And also, this would be in select nations where they get a chance to represent TVS Racing. And the winners of each continent square off end of the year in an exclusive event in a very, very top-notch racetrack in the probably some of the best racetracks in the world where they would square off against each other and the winner gets a chance to represent TVS Racing in their country. So this is the ARA Cup and this is how we're building the entire experience of the Apache tribe. Keeping all this in mind and without wanting to keeping you for too far away, let me now present the product to you and can we have the launch video followed by the launch sequence. Thank you so much. Request suggestion to please come and stay now. Yes, you'll have enough time, so don't push around. They're going to be here for some. Do another round of photo shoot at the end. We'll give another 30 seconds, then we'll start with the procedure. Thank you. Thank you, Sudarshan. Thank you, Ken. We'll do another round at the end. Thanks, Aishwarya and Jagan. Can we have everybody seated, please? We have another presentation to happen. The motorcycle you see here today, the Apache RR310, is an amalgamation of 35 years of racing experience combined with cutting edge technology and best in class features. To take you through the engineering aspects of this performance motorcycle, I invite Mr. Vinay Harne, President, New Product Development, to please come on stage.
I will be explaining the technical details and how the product was developed for 310 power pack. You can see here the specific features of this powertrain where we have especially very lightweight design of the piston. We have back rack, uh, back re re oil with a special pressure so that the engine with the camshaft is very tight. Cylinder head with reverse incline has helped us to get very compact layout of the whole vehicle where with the reverse engine we are able to move the engine crankshaft to the front wheel and that gives much more tighter layout of the vehicle with a longer swing arm. This has helped to get much better ride dynamics. Apart from that we have downdraft intake, downdraft port has helped in getting 8% extra airflow into the engine with the best power out of that. Here you can see the details of lightweight piston and the balancer shaft design with shell bearings which has helped to make the most compact engine layout delivering really high power to weight ratio of the engine. Acceleration and max speed details are here. The engine performance, gear ratio optimization and aerodynamics these three in coordination has helped us to achieve best in class performance, best in class passing acceleration and maximum speed. This will help the customer to come out first in traffic in the city riding, quick overtaking and enhance racing performance. Now we go to the details of aerodynamic and thermal management. Normally we have belief that at very high speed only the thermal management or aerodynamics is important but the details with which we have worked out is right from very low speeds. So we have done wind tunnel testing and measurements for setting the aerodynamic targets. From first principles, the computational fluid dynamics modeling has helped us to set the benchmark targets for this product in aerodynamics. The optimization iterations between wind tunnel and the model to prove that the model gives very realistic and believable numbers. After that, aerodynamic development process started. After hundreds of iterations and so many different designs of front panel, side panels, or the fairing, we have arrived at the best uh, aerodynamics and uh, lowest possible coefficient of drag. This is in addition to that, we have taken care that while driving in slow speeds, the air from outside does not uh, come on the rider's leg or hands or any other parts where it will be hitting. The design optimization for the CFD model and the particular CFD model, outline of the flow and the streamlining can be seen in these slides. With the design optimization, we have done final verification of the uh, whole vehicle in tunnel and on road. And you can see that the lowest drag coefficient we have been able to achieve in this vehicle, it has helped to achieve 160 kilometers maximum speed. We have clocked even higher than that on the road in many uh, examples. This is the example of the thermal management work what we have done. The cooling system is actually a dual cooling where we have liquid cooling as usual plus we have oil cooling and the oil is cooled by the liquid with a oil heat, uh, uh, heat exchanger. This has helped to bring down the piston temperature, help to bring down the cylinder head temperature on the rear side and uh, the heat that goes on to the rider has been blocked by many kinds of uh, the detailed design of the tunnels. Now we come to ride and handling. The focus is on multi-body dynamic simulation. Right hand side you can see the image of the multi-body dynamics. We have uh, four different modes of riding, weave, wobble and uh, various measurements done after that on the road as well as on simulation model to achieve the best in class riding and very accurate and precise control of wheel. The tuned chassis design is worked out such that we have very stiff chassis with a high potential for race performance. This is keeping the potential such that we have best strength which is required for actual race performance and the weight ratio. Superior maneuverability and low speed handling to have minimum tiredness during riding is achieved by 
many areas of work on the riding posture and ergonomics. As you can see here, the riding ergonomics for shoulder, hip angle, seating position, and uh, the seat profile have been designed to get maximum comfort during slow speed as well as fast riding. ABS is tuned for very high performance and precise control. So the focus is on really high confidence in braking, total control, and enhanced safety. This vehicle gives highest turnings radius and uh, maximum speed during cornering. Achieved this with uh, proper tuning for weave and wobble and stability. The vehicle performance is tuned with extensive tuning on the racetrack. This vehicle, as you have heard so far, has been designed on racetrack by race riders. Several weeks have been spent on racetrack testing. More than 3,000 3, plus laps have been taken by really good riders and champions. All our engineers are best riders, and some of them have spent time on this vehicle for tuning. We have thus have, support, have been supported by race champions, MotoGP, and experts from Kayaba on track handling and track dynamics. And we can say that we have the best lap timing on this vehicle, which is the lowest in class. We come to lighting and electronics. We have first time by LED projector headlamp and all LED lighting system in this vehicle. The advanced technology details can be seen here, where we have many areas which are first time. The specific instrument cluster and electronics is a new thing. We wanted to have a very narrow front fairing for best aerodynamics, and so a vertical layout of the speedo cluster has been selected. Style design for this. The detailed design has been worked out with our experience of getting really best in class styling for this particular segment and you can see some of the conceptual design work how it started the whole design has started as you know very well from the akula concept and uh, the speed agility and evolutionary perfection can be seen in this detail out of many sketches and many directional work that was done one concept called akula was shortlisted and this was taken up for further development and this is the detail of the first concept that we developed as the base sketch. And this was detailed and engineered into a finally full blown product that you are seeing today. The tank, seat, and tail proportions, detailed design of each and every part. There are many details, and I'm just showing you a few examples of that, particularly the vertical speedometer. The fit and finish and craftsmanship. Each and every vehicle is built with care by the plant and operations. Every area, the gaps, the matching of the parts, and every area is taken care by quality standards. These are the specifications of the products that we will launch. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. With this, we come to the end of the presentations. We will now have an exclusive preview of the new TBS Apache RR310 television commercial. Can we have the video, please?
Every element of design on the RR3N is form that aids a singular function, performance. The inspiration for the RR310 stemmed from the shark. Quick, agile, and an apex predator. This inspiration manifested itself into an aggressive... I'm going to open the house for Q&A. Uh, please raise your hand with the mics would reach you. Please introduce yourself. A uh, set of customers who are very attracted to the racing pedigree. Next. Show me from over there. What is the price for this? Show me. Very most most important question, right? I think pricing will ex showroom price uh, will start from <laughs> <laughs> two lakh five thousand, and it will vary from it will vary from state to state. Two lakhs five thousand, two point zero five lakhs. And the availability, Jaina? We are starting bookings very shortly and it will be available by the end of the month. We will come back to you. As we roll out state by state, we will come back to you on the exact state. Amit? This is Amit uh, from Mutroids. Uh, I just wanted to understand what is what does RR stand for? Typically, it's, it's replica. So in this case, what does RR stand for, and what are the what is the kind of competition that you're looking at? The products that you think are uh, the competition for this product? RR does stand for race replica. Okay. And it's a great bike, and I'm sure it'll do very well with all the racing customers. Uh, and uh, another question is, uh, which products do you see as the competition for this one, and how is it uh, different uh, in terms of positioning? This bike is best in class and I'm sure all the customers who go for it will enjoy the race craft and riding dynamics in a very unique and special way. Thank you. Uh, Daniel here from Motorbeam. Uh, Apache is known for its vivid colors. So are there any more colors which we're going to expect coming here or these are the only two? We'll start with these two. Depending upon the customer liking, we live for Apache customers and get, I can promise you, so Apache customers will be always delighted. Honey, at the back. Uh, good afternoon, I'm Sumantra, a <laughs> professional. Uh, congratulations on the unveil. Uh, uh, the next phase, uh, as you say, the ASEAN region, and perhaps tapping your partners somewhere else, or uh, would that be an, op uh, an option See, you're looking right, for? Right now, we have enough capacity in Hosur, no. so I think it will be make in India for the world. Okay. And in the uh, in the presentation, it also showcased uh, the Apache brand being having a two different. Uh, one is the RTR, one is the RR. So this, I assume, was the start of the uh, series. So, uh, mm. what is the spectrum do you see for? Uh, for, for this part of the Apache brand story, the RR part. So this is the first RR, and it's a fantastic bike, and I'm sure we'll see as time goes what will be for further Apaches. But we're also launching our 160 Apache soon. Hi, RR yeah. sales. Hi, here. Go ahead. Bala here. Bala. So I have two questions, sir. One is, would you rename the name Apache for all the Superbike series? Be it for this one on for the upcoming uh, bikes also. And the second one, uh, what about the engine? Was it uh, supplied by BMW or was it a joint development one? Could you provide some details on that? As we mentioned before, this is part of the joint project with BMW. Uh, regarding the Apache brand name, as so far we have used the Apache brand name. This is the first bike in the super premium category. And we'll see about the brand name as we go through with further launches and future products in the super premium category. Yeah. This is our first we definitely foray we are focused on strengthening the Apache brand name, which is doing very well globally. And I think it has a very good product range, a very good fan following. So we will work to constantly strengthen this brand. Hi, uh, Girish from Business Standard. Uh, I just wanted to know, uh, uh, what is the current market size of super premium bikes globally? And uh, 
uh, the first year, uh, what are your targets? First and year, first year already we have highlighted. We are looking at the target of ten thousand bikes. In terms of market share, where market you share, we are not looking at it. We are looking at uh, first year ten thousand, and we are very confident that this bike mm -hmm. will do extremely well. Also, okay, and also uh, the, uh, you will also be selling globally, and BMW's product will also be there. So, do you see any conflict there? Apache RTR and Apache RR is a product which has uh, got huge opportunities. And at this point of time, I think we are focused on that. Hello. Sir. We have one more question that we can take. Last question, please. Hello. This is Praveen from Automotive Script. Yep, okay. Uh, could you just uh, give us more glimpse about the RR Cup, which is about to take place next year? When will it start and something like that? So can we take that offline? I think Sid would be able to answer that question. We'll take that offline on the RR Cup. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Maybe Go ahead. We also have to save something for sharing with you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last question, please. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, this is Sohan from Power Drip. Uh, I would like to know for more passionate bikers, there will be a performance boost kit for this bike available later on? Today is the day of RR launch. Okay, my colleague uh, Siddharth has uh, presented a lot of good things about how we want to take Apache Club. Okay, I'm very sure many things will unfold as we progress. We've already announced the Apache One Make series in 2018, so that's one thing. And that will be more, even more track pure. So we'll see. From the, uh, you will see a lot of action to build this further. With this, we come to the end of the Q&A. Can I request all the photographers to please come in front? We'll do another thank round you, of Thank you. Thank you once again for this wonderful event. And uh, thanks to our colleagues from the BMW here, BMW Motorrad, and all the friends and uh, from the media and all our employees and all the viewers who are watching this live, thank you. Thank you.